um, my name is Li Jinzhen, so she's pretty close though. Thank you all. <laughs> well, um, uh, my full time, uh, I work at a bank, and uh, as volunteer, I serve as the library project liaison, as well as a treasury in, in the Hangzhou Sister City uh, Committee. Um, after being involved in com uh, community service, particularly with Sister City program, uh, I have had many special moments, including tonight. So I wish you can find your own inspiration and uh, come to work for Indianapolis Sister City program. Well, in the summer of 2005, um, I came to Indianapolis from uh, my hometown because my husband, then fiance, uh, a hooser has been waiting for me for three years. Yeah, <laughs> bad choice, but, <laughs> but um, yeah, my hometown is uh, located south, uh, southeast coast of China. Um, it is capital city of Zhejiang Province. It has mid, uh, modest sized town of six million people. <laughs> it is modest compared to its neighbor, Shanghai, which is two hours east and three times the size. So yeah, so my first impression of Indianapolis is of the blue sky. Well, um, I feel like the sky is so low and I feel like I was in a big, uh, a huge dome theater. Um, the you know puffy white cloud for, um, float across the blue sky so commonly see here but not in Hangzhou. Hangzhou has less pollution than other big city in China but compared to Hangzhou Indianapolis has a remarkably clean sky. Um, my second impression was um, that Indy is so flat just like a pancake. <laughs> well, except a few towers in downtown, there's a corn fields, single family house, you know, malls of no more than three floors. So from the old American movie I watched in China, I thought the city in the United States uh, would be all like New York or Chicago, you know, full of uh, skyscrapers. Um, but it's not. <laughs> so uh, most people in Hangzhou, they live in six and seven um, floors, uh, apartment building. Um, more and more, they live in newly built high rise. So the streets are busy all the time. Cars, buses, taxis, um, bikes, pedest um, pedestrians, noisy but vibrant. Uh, here in Indianapolis, I, there aren't many people walk around the street, and the cars don't honk. There's a little, <laughs> there's a little traffic, but in Hangzhou, traffic jams are very normal. Um, it takes uh, triple the traveling time to get to a destination in the pink time every day. So for this point, I prefer quiet of Indianapolis. But however, I miss my uh, family in Hangzhou. Um, I was born there, grew up there, and uh, worked there until I came on the side of Earth. So um, luckily, my two older sister and my brother, they're taking good care of, of my parents. So living so far away from them, I can only pray for their good health. So yeah, and, and they, they all live in the happiest city in China. Uh, 30 million people participated in a survey by China's Xinhua News Agency, and they said so. Hangzhou is the happiest city in China. <laughs> yeah, Hangzhou has been known for centuries of wealth and high culture. It dates back more than 2,000 years. It was the China's um, capital in Song, um, in Song Dynasty. So uh, it's very famous for its beautiful scenery, its fine silk, and uh, it, it also it is the birthplace of Longjing tea, which is green tea. Yeah, uh, most of you um, 
have heard children play game Marco Polo. So when the real Italian explorer Marco Polo came to Hangzhou uh, in 13th century, he declared Hangzhou is the most beautiful and elegant city in the world. And Hangzhou retains the, um, this charming till today. While Indianapolis is proud of um, coals, pieces, speed away, Hangzhou residents like to play badminton and uh, ping pong. Yeah, so, well, um, in addition, Hangzhou government, they heavily invest in promoting in tourist, tourism and uh, arts. Each year, there's millions of tourists uh, come to West Lake area. One side of West Lake uh, facing downtown, and three sides are surrounded by those low mountains and historic sites and uh, um, ancient temple, garden, and lakeside, very friendly tea houses. Uh, for within the West Lake itself, there's a multiple island to visit, and uh, causeways are lovely for walk and. Uh, cycling tour and many grand views. Every early, early every morning, there's an exercise group. Um, they're everywhere around the lake. They're jogging, hiking, and dancing, and uh, practicing Tai Chi. Um, I used to hike with my dad like tw uh, in those low mountains twice a week. Yeah. Uh, even though um, its streets are busy, but Hangzhou has a piece that uh, big cities like neighboring Shanghai cannot offer. Believe it or not, uh, Geist Reservoir is as large as Hangzhou's West Lake, but unfortunately, it was it is surrounded by private homes, so it's not a popular place for thousands of residents the way West Lake is. So, well, before I came here, I worked for Zhejiang um, State Library for over 11 years. So my life in Hangzhou is a bit laid back compared to my life in Indianapolis. So, but as a new immigrant, I know um, there's that would be challenges, and um, I was determined to do my best, to try my best to adapt to my new life here. I was eager to learn new things. So the third day I arrived at Indy, I went to Our Lady of Laws counting donations. So by talking with other church um, volunteers, I learned that uh, volunteering is a part of American culture. In China, though, it's not so popular because of a lack of aware um, issue awareness and. Uh, because of a lack of opportunity for ordinary citizens to get involved. So um, inspired by the uh, volunteerism, I volunteered at uh, elementary school talking about China. And uh, I volunteered hospice care, listening to my lovely patient recite the Bible. And I also volunteered at uh, VITAR um, program preparing free tax refund for low-income people. However, I, was, I wished to, have, to find something that I have passion and uh, confidence to do it well. So in 2010, I heard that uh, Indianapolis and Hangzhou just established a sister city relationship. And the community, uh, and uh, the sister city committee need more uh, volunteers so I sign up without any hesitation. <laughs> so the first um, Sister City event I attend, I attend was to set up Sister City booths in the, um, at a Chinese festival in Military Park in 2010. Um, that's the first time I met Sherry, the president of our Indianapolis Hanzo Sister City um, committee. She is Sasha passionate, capable, and unselfish leader, and a hard worker volunteer herself. So she encouraged me to be a liaison between um, Indianapolis um, Public Library and Hangzhou Library, so I accepted. Um, with the effort from 
two libraries, mayor's office, and uh, uh, in the Apple's sister city committee. And a good partnership was established in May 2012. Um, there's an open ceremony of uh, open ceremony for West Lake reflection, uh, reflection ex book exhibition in uh, Indianapolis Public Central Library. And uh, later, two libraries completed 100 books and uh, two library exchanges. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, like uh, Hangzhou Public Library, library uh, has, is twice the size as the Indianapolis Central Library, but it has less public computer. <laughs> but anyway, um, because of the good partnership, um, uh, we, uh, Hangzhou, uh, Indianapolis Hangzhou Sister Community had being uh, collaborate with Hanzo Library uh, on the very first in the, uh, exhibition of Indianapolis in China. A Taste of Indianapolis exhibition was open for a month in October 2013 in Hanzo Library. Um, so, and the uh, exhibition project to be, is to be recognized as the most innovative Innovative, I, ho I hope I pronounced right, okay. In oncoming 2014 U.S. and China Sister Cities Conference at Washington, D.C. <laughs> so yeah, the product um, from, an, from an idea of having the exhibition to its production of 134 balls, a 40 minutes, um, video and seven cutouts and uh, three display, display case. The committee only had four months to put together. So uh, the committee volunteers worked the nights and weekends. We recruited 22 Indianapolis major organizations to participate in this um, exhibition. And the 13 of them became the generous sponsor of the exhibition. And uh, some of uh, the committee volunteers and the interns, they designed some of posters and uh, translate all the materials into Chinese and uh, worked uh, with Hanzo with many aspects of this giant project. <laughs> we really tried our best to promote Indianapolis and the sister city um, partnership and the culture through the exhibition and involved collaborations. Um, as you also can see that uh, uh, sister city um, committee, they also provide, they provide the opportunity for um, the volunteers to um, contribute their talent and allow them, also allow them to develop their ability and skills further. So volunteering in the um, in the Apple Sisters, uh, uh, Hanzo Sister City Committee, I learned that through a platform, ordinary people work together can make big things happen. Yeah. And the volunteering, you know, in a sister city program also channeled my passion of help to build a bridge between Indianapolis and Hangzhou, China. Thank you. <laughs>